name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. A team from the University of Sydney's Australian Centre for Field Robotics successfully tested a four-wheeled, remote-controlled robot they're calling Rover to herd cattle from a field to a nearby dairy. Groups of 20 to 150 cows were calmly and efficiently herded, according to Dan Kara, a research officer for the analyst firm Arisplex. Currently, the rover costs about $1 million and is still in the prototype stage. The possibilities around the farm are endless, and in about two years, rover could be working on the farm. His responsibilities could include surveillance, surveying, soil sampling, security, graze management, and monitoring calving, according to Kendra Karisk, an associate professor of veterinary science at the University of Sydney. In a related cattle tech story, Taillights is a Kickstarter campaign that is raising funds for its LED horsetail technology. Sammy Gross is a wrangler, rancher, search and rescue rider, and the inventor of Taillights. The product consists of six strips of color-changing LEDs attached to a unit that contains a CPU and a battery pack and has a battery life for 15 hours of continuous use. There are three brightness settings, low for group rides, medium for solo rides, and high, a super bright yellow strobing pattern for emergency situations. Gross got the idea when one of her friends was hit by a car while riding at night and her horse was badly injured. You can purchase taillights now on Kickstarter for $160 for the single color version and $250 for the multicolored unit. San Francisco was transformed into Gotham City last week when the Make-A-Wish Foundation teamed up with the city of San Francisco and more than 10,000 volunteers to make a five-year-old's wish come true. Miles Scott was battling leukemia for some time and is now in remission. When the Make-A-Wish Foundation asked Miles what his wish was, he said he wanted to be Batman. And the Bat Kid rises. Please, Cape Crusader, we need you. And Bring the Bat Kid. Now for some quickie crave stories. The Oxford English Dictionary named the word selfie its word of the year for 2013, smile. And in honor of the Doctor Who 50th anniversary celebration, here's an image of all the doctors from Doctor Who in one face composite. Okay, now that you've seen that, why not learn how to build a Game of Thrones iron throne using a simple lawn chair? Or take a quick ride on an all-terrain electric skateboard Or why not get a pair of these solar-powered sunglasses to charge your smartphone? Check out more from the Island of Misfit Tech at the Crave blog. Shapeify.me is a service that uses your Microsoft Connect to 3D scan yourself and then 3D prints your very own selfie statue. All you need to do is download and install the Shapeify.me app and the Microsoft Connect SDK. You then connect the Connect to your computer and press the capture button to start scanning. Stand three feet away from the connect, which should be at chest height. Strike a pose and rotate your body holding the pose in 45 degree increments. For a fee of $59, Shapeify will send you a low res version of yourself in action figure form. I think you're worth it. Hey guys, thanks for watching the show. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week, Crave is giving away the Canex Bluetooth Multi-Sync Keyboard. This sleek wireless keyboard can sync up to four devices. Go to the blog and enter to win.